you feel when you wake up in the morning? We have a guest right now that's going to tell you the first things you do for those two minutes when you wake up are crucial to your positive mentality for the day. We've got New York Times best-selling author Neil Pazricha in the house. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Guys. Thank you. No, thank you. Because the fact that you're thinking about rewiring your rewiring your brain right from the get-go right from the time your eyes open in the morning yeah so talk to us about what you think we should be doing sure well first of all I'll tell you what I was doing personally yes. which is probably what most people are doing which is having this really frenetic you know uh, you jump out of bed you're racing downstairs maybe you're turning the coffee or tea on you're grabbing a screaming kid you're running or you're, you're late for work <laughs> It's, it's like horrible, right? It's like, horrible. yeah, and we don't, we aren't thinking during that whole practice because you know what we're doing is we're stressed. We're stressed yeah. about whether or not I'm going to be late. We're stressed about all these things. And here I am, you know, I've written these books about happiness and here I am myself. I'm like, I'm struggling to get through my day properly and I can't seem to start it on the right foot. Mm -hmm. So what I started doing, Tracy, before this thing even came out is I started getting a, an index card okay. and I started writing three things I will focus on each day. Just having a little list in my pocket all day of things I will do mm -hmm. helped take away all the things I could do. And at the end of the day, when I crossed them off, I felt great. I looked into this mm -hmm. and it turns out there's a lot of research behind doing it. Professor Roy Baumaster down in Florida did a great uh, book called Willpower. Okay. And he shows that we all have decision fatigue. We're contemplating what we could do all day. Yeah. If you can distill it down to three simple things, you are more effective. You aren't thinking about all the things you could do. You're just getting yeah. three things crossed off. So are you talking about three things, like three tangible things, like I have to take my laundry in to yeah. the dry cleaners? A exactly. Okay, so uh, that Come kind of on stuff. city line. Yes. You know I mean, get my driver's license renewed. And that's uh, it, right just three. Three simple things. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now, the other thing that happened is I started liking that practice so much that on the reverse side of the index card, I started writing down a few gratitudes. Mm -hmm. I started writing down a few gratitudes. We know from research from Emmons and McCullough that if you can write down five gratitudes a week, then after a 10-week period, not only are you happier, but your body's also physically healthier. Oh, really? They compared it to people who wrote down hassles and people who wrote down events in their life. And they found that writing down five things you're grateful for, if they are, if they are specific, can actually mm -hmm. help your physical well-being. Okay. So it, it has to be specific. You can't just write down friends, family, and love. Friends, right. family, and love. You have to say, like, my husband Antonio finally put the toilet seat down. And right. Rover learned how to shake a paw. My boss said, good job, in an email. And my other, you know, my, my other teammates were CC'd. Like, something specific. Mm. Specific. Okay. So I had this cue card. I'm starting to carry it around, this index card. Yeah. And I'm liking it. But you know what? I still had a problem. Okay. You know what my problem was? What was your problem? I still wake up with these little anxious thoughts. I'm self-conscious about the five pounds I put on. Yes. I'm comparing myself to another author who has a way bigger book than mine. Yes. I have these anxious thoughts every day. We all do. Mm -hmm. So I look into anxiety in the morning, and it turns out that there's a study put out called Don't Look Back in Anger, okay. same as the Oasis song name. It's published in Science Magazine, and they show that if we can crystallize our worries and minimize regrets as we get older, mm -hmm. we actually increase our happiness. So for those of you in the audience that are Catholic, you may know the confession chamber. You say, uh, bless me, Father, for I have sinned. You get down on your knees, and you get it off your chest. Get it out there. All right? But in this increasing secular society, a lot of us don't necessarily have that outlet. Mm -hmm. So you need a way to get it off your chest. So on the back of the cue card, I started writing down something I will let go of. This okay. turned into a daily practice I did for years, Tracy, and now it's just come out as a practice for everybody else called Two Minute Mornings. Okay. Science-based exercises to fill out something you will let go of, mm -hmm. a few things you're grateful for, and three things to focus on. And if you can spend two minutes doing those three things, you prime your brain for positive thinking all day. You have a much better day. So you get up and you, yeah. have you done this the night before or you're doing this in the morning when you get up? It's funny because so far what I'm hearing back from people is a lot of people are saying, I prefer, even my wife, she's like, yeah. I prefer doing it at night. Right. Okay, I'm a morning person, so I yeah. call it two minute mornings. Right. Because for me, it's the practice in the morning. But Leslie, my wife is like, she much prefers it as a form of closure yes. and predictability for tomorrow. You so, know what I can, I would yeah. do both. What I would yeah. do is I would do the night before, I would say, these are the things I need to let go of. Yes. The morning of, I would do my gratitudes and my three things. Yeah. Well, you know what? You can use it any way you like to use it. This is it. It's yeah. two-minute mornings. Yeah, you flip, uh, if you flip it open, you see there's the three prompts every day. It's so cool. I will let go of, I'm grateful for, yes. I'll focus on. I'm a journal junkie. <laughs> and I love, I, I, I love to write things down. And I think putting down your intention is really important. So for this book, the first line is, I will let go of. There's a line you can put whatever you want. I am grateful for. We're big believers of that in my house. 
house. I will focus on one, two, three. And then for the day, like you feel so good, exactly. right? Exactly. You feel incredible. We want to have you doing this as well because the choices made in the morning can have a huge impact all day long. So to help you get motivated, Neil has brought down copies of his journal, Two Minute Mornings for all of you. <laughs> Exactly. every day that can make a big difference and then on top of that it's just getting into the habit of thinking in a positive light mm -hmm. and even if you don't go any further than that like the things that you need to get let go of do you find that they might be the same things you're writing down day after day after day? Well, the beautiful thing is as I look back over the last few weeks, I'm like, oh, I can't believe I was worried about that three weeks okay. ago. It starts to become hilarious when you look at all these things you're worried about, <laughs> and you're like, oh, good, good. It, by crystallizing it, you get it out of your system. That's right. Yeah. Okay, that's what I do every morning in the makeup room. I just, <laughs> all my problems, and then I'm, I'm, I'm fine. 